Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to learn how to draw this instead of just copy the clip art. And for the one I'm doing it for, it came out really good, the tracing the clip art. And he drew this spiral. It's a couple of problems with it. I think there's too many inner circles, so we can eliminate some of that by maybe putting a line right there and just taking and deleting this. And whenever you start something like this, I've always found it's easier to go to Windows and Dockers and Properties and find out how long. So that curve is 10 point or 11 inches long. So when you do something like that, you want your blend to be basically 11 inches long. And if you see right there, it's 11 and a half. So we're going to make it 11. And then just, this is a blend. He, he blended it from a small one to a big one. Now I had to manipulate this and I'm going to, I'm going to do it first. Then I'm going to show you what the problem was. I'm going to uh, get a new path and put it on the path. And then I'm going to blend along full path and rotate all objects. And it came out pretty good. It came out kind of like the picture itself. Uh, the spiral is a little bigger, but you can always, because it's a path, you can always reduce the path until these aren't really kind of hitting. And it's kind of hard to see until you make them all black. And if you'll select it all and then fill it in with black, but it doesn't look like it because the blend slows down as it goes through here. And you could play around and do a lot of stuff with uh, uh, acceleration and everything like that. But what, what I found when I first got it from him, that if you take your shape tool, this was pointing in the other direction. So if you go and you right click and reverse the sub pass, and then you put this blend and it, it's totally different than the way it was before. And then we'll go blend and rotate along full path and rotate object. The shapes are going to the inside instead of the outside. They do, you know, and there's, and there's several ways, you know, you could look at this, you could mirror it and then try blending it. So it's not a, a particular one way that it fits on there better than the other, except for the way I had it. And as you can see now, it started off with little ones. And that had to do with the direction of the subpath. But we'll back up to that best one. Well, I guess I went too far. So we're just going to take this and blend it along new path and rotate. And I'm going to, I'm going to take away this and see what happens. And it didn't really change. So I'm not happy with this inner part of the circle where they start blending faster than the other. So I'm going to try something in the next video that might solve that problem. So stay tuned for part two. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.